much for joining us today. We're so excited to celebrate these amazing students, mentors, and founders in the completion of our very first Intern Match program. Um, before we get started, for the best user experience, we do suggest you click into your gallery view here during the students' presentations. We kindly ask that you mute your mics and then stop your videos. This will allow us to really spotlight the students. Um, and for those of you who are a little bit unfamiliar with the Zoom um, functions, you can do this by clicking either on um, the bottom of your screen where it says stop video, or you can also do it by clicking the on the top uh, video screen of yours with a blue dots. If you go ahead and go click into that box, it gives you an option to stop your video there as well. Um, so with that said, I'm actually going to hide all non-video participants here. Let's see. There you go. Nope. Okay, and then we are going to go ahead and kick off with our founding executive director of the NASDAQ Entrepreneur Center, Nicola Corzine. Well, thank you so much, Isis. And first and foremost, congratulations. It's hard to believe how much has unfolded in the last several months, but we couldn't be more honored and more impressed with all that's been accomplished during this time. So as Isis kindly said, my name is Nicola Corzine. I'm so pleased to welcome everyone here today to all the faculty who have joined us uh, both for the in-person onboarding event and now again upon graduation. It's so lovely to see everyone even in our new virtual environment that we're all facing today. Yeah, as we celebrate the completion of this intern match program, I want to just do a quick recap of how this program's evolved, because I think it's important, especially given how much the world has evolved in this time, too. So as we all know, at the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center, we're really committed to building inclusive and accessible entrepreneurship. We believe fundamentally that entrepreneurs are our trailblazers, they are our change makers, and they have the ability to solve some of the world's toughest problems. Certainly, some of those have been risen to recent and, and important acumen during this time. Now, in turn, I think entrepreneurs also play a critical role in strengthening not just our economy, but they also create incredibly valuable services for our society, especially in times of great change, challenge, and uncertainty, like those that we're facing today. And not dissimilar, of course, the journey of an entrepreneur is certainly full of challenges. And what is one of the top three things that keeps founders up at night? Well, I'd invite all of you to take a big guess on that and probably put your thoughts in chats. Um, I'll give you a second and see what our, our people are thinking. What do you think is the number one thing that's keeping our founders up at night right now? It's not raising money, believe it or not. <laughs> Anyone? Improving is always important, absolutely. Ah. Right, lean for the gold today. Yes, ways to increase our talent for sure. Um, you know, having access to great talent makes the impossible possible. We know that all too well. And for our fast moving startups, hiring and finding the right talent is ultimately the problem that they're trying and needing to solve. Um, talent needs are dynamic organizations change overnight and the pace of change requires a much more agile approach to finding talent, the recruitment and the retention of that talent. The work of one talented person can truly deeply accelerate the trajectory of any early stage business. And we see that all the time at the center. Now, most importantly, we believe in our students like yourselves, who not only have the interest in entrepreneurship, but they've also been recognized by their faculty as leaders who provide a unique talent pool for talent hungry startups. That's the reason that we're all here today celebrating your radical achievements over the last many months. So, let me share just a few program highlights that have happened during this time. It's been 12 weeks. We've had 22 community college students matched with 12 early stage companies and 12 amazing faculty mentors, seven student learning sessions as a group, 12 hours of Zoom meetings. You've all hung in there substantially on a lot of Zoom meetings. Plenty of cups of coffee, myself most notably included in that. Uh, multiple published blogs. One of our students that has been accepted into UC Berkeley Haas of business this fall 2020, congratulations. 
And I can't even begin to count the number of learnings that have happened on both sides for our students and for our startups. And speaking of our startups, you know, I just want to take a moment to thank all of them, these amazing 12 impressive startups, Stash, Wexus Tech, Tinyfy, Nigeria, Ensign Stems, Emmy, Winnie, Medina's Health, Bloom Bras, Fanalyze, String, and of course ourselves, the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center, all of them participated in this year's pilot. You know, certainly I can speak for ourselves and all of the startups in saying we've benefited tremendously from the talent of you students, your fresh perspectives, your amazing willingness to roll up the sleeves, work so hard and bring much needed value to all of us, all of our organizations. And we also hope that our startups have learned new ways to integrate students into their organizations, not just for this moment, but for forevermore and leverage this amazing special source of talent as they continue to grow. Now, for the students, congratulations. Again, we know how much you have learned. And not only did you take on an entirely new experience, you also had to learn a whole new way to work during this incredibly complicated time. And we can't wait to hear more about these accomplishments momentarily when you share this with us. To our amazing faculty mentors, thank you for your time and your ongoing commitment to mentor these students. Your support, your dedication added tremendous value to each of the students' success in this program. And honestly, we couldn't have done it without you. This program truly would not have been possible without the amazing support of Chuck Eason, statewide director, business of entrepreneurship, workforce and economic development for California community colleges, the amazing Elise Campbell, regional director of business and entrepreneurship, and Salomon Devella, project coordinator. You know, all leaders and visionaries in your own right. And I really want to especially thank all of the regional directors who participated too. Again, at the NASDAQ Center, we truly share your vision for building the next generation of amazing entrepreneurs. We are so grateful to have learned beside you and understand how the infusion of this incredibly smart student talent can be a lever for growth and competitive advantage. We hope to see you back at the center again soon. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much, Nicola, for sharing those kind words and really setting the tone for the celebration. Um, for those of you joining us for the first time, uh, my name is Isis Torres and I'm the program coordinator for the NASDAQ Entrepreneur Center. I have had the honor of working with this amazing team, inspiring faculty mentors, founders, and talented students. It is with great excitement I welcome you all to the celebration to showcase all the learning and growth that has happened in just the past few months. Thank you again to the company's mentors and supporters for helping the students reach these valuable insights that are really hard to grasp inside the walls of a traditional classroom. This is really where the magic happens at the intersection of education and entrepreneurship, unlocking unique values for students and the entrepreneurial community. For the 22 highly talented students who participated, whether you end up working at a startup, start your own business, or take this entrepreneurial skill set and mindset to a large organization, I know you're richer for having this experience. The learning, insights, and discovery you shared these past couple months will continue to help you advance personally and professionally in the most obvious and non-obvious ways. I encourage you to write, reflect, and continue to share your experiences with friends, family, and mentors, as our learnings are often more deep and imprinted on us as we share outwardly our thoughts and experiences with others. On that note, I do have an ask for all of you. Please help us at the center to continue to build supportive structures so that students like you from around the globe can learn what it takes to be successful advancing their entrepreneurial mindsets. Our mission at the center is to democratize entrepreneurship for underserved talent. And we believe students are a powerful resource in accomplishing this goal. We're focused on understanding the barriers to entrepreneurship and developing promising solutions as it relates to the entrepreneurial mindset, networks, and connection. And access to capital to accelerate the entrepreneurial capabilities for the benefits of our lives, communities, and world. This is a journey that we're not on alone, and we're so deeply grateful to our partners who help make this work of our nonprofit possible. Thank you again for celebrating these talented students with us. Next up, I would like to hand it over to my incredible partner, Matt Locke, who is an amazing co-lead in piloting this program and not only brought amazing insights to the program, but taught me something new every day, even if it meant teaching me a new tool. 
With that said, I hand it to you, Matt. Thank you, Isis. Um, good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here so early in the morning. Uh, I'm Matt Locke, and I'm one of the program leads of Intern Match, uh, which is the program that we are celebrating today at NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center. Um, and, you know, it's been a whirlwind these past couple of months building out this program. You know, we, we had designed it with the ideas that we would be fully remote, but, you know, thank, thank you to COVID, we went straight to it. So I can't thank enough um, for all the students, the startups, and the faculty members involved in this initial pilot, all the support that was uh, given from everyone um, to ensure that we would be successful in this um, interesting state of the world. Um, this ceremony is a magnificent showcase of all the amazing work that can be done in any circumstance uh, when there's community and support along the way. And um, thank you for all the people that supported everyone along the way. Um, I know it's been difficult uh, with the COVID hitting us when it did, but you all made great adjustments to blaze a path forward, both professionally and personally. And you should be very proud of yourself, um, all the students that have participated. You know, this was not an easy task and your tremendous growth during these uncomfortable times will definitely be uh, great for your career. Um, these pa past months have not been easy and you all stuck it through. And this is a great representation of your efforts and your resilience along the, along the way in these unwavering times. Um, and to the faculty and partners, I, I can't thank enough uh, every one of you for being here today to celebrate the growth of these students and the and I'm excited to see uh, how their work has helped the companies and I'm sure their presentations will show showcase all the amazing stuff that they've done. And for everyone that has helped these students throughout the process, I commend you for your commitment in helping advance the careers of the next generation of innovators and founders. Um, thank you so much and I pass it back to Isis. Awesome. Thanks so much, Matt. Um, so we are ready to go ahead and dive into the student presentations. Um, I will go ahead, uh, just a friendly reminder to keep your videos hidden um, and mute your mic so that we can really spotlight the students here. Um, and Matt will go ahead and kick us off with sharing his screen so we can get the presentations pulled up. Give them a second to set that up here. Awesome, thanks Matt. And so kicking us off today, we have Raslin from San Joaquin Delta College, who partnered with Jacob Trumbull at the NASDAQ Entrepreneur Center. A friendly reminder to the students to make sure that you share your video when we tee you up to do your presentation. So with that said, please welcome Raslin. Hi everyone, my name is Raslin Carr, and I had the pleasure of working with the NASDAQ Entrepreneur Center. The center's mission is to democratize entrepreneurship. So what this means is that every step they take, every workshop and every program such as this one is designed to give guidance to individuals who consider starting a company and running it. But moreover, the center creates a setting that directly allows them to get valuable insight and experience of working with successful founders and also connect with those who are at the beginning of his or her journey. And in just over four years, they launched over 600 programs, helping over 16,000 founders, of which 49% were female and 60% minority. So um, for the center, my main goal was to create unique strategies for outreach initiatives to students and to increase student talent using my personal student perspective. Having no prior experience of even being in a professional setting and only a year of college to support my professional decisions, I was baffled that I was given the responsibility of sharing this opportunity with students all over the Central Valley. My biggest hurdles were not as much external, but that there was so much I had to learn and I had to learn how to prioritize things, how to be professional, how to represent a company 
and a brand. And it was overwhelming at times. I learned that I wasn't just an intern at the center, but I was a part of their team and helping them, uh, helping their mission of democratizing entrepreneurship in every way possible. And I had to step back and realize that I was here for the same reason. So whether it was writing emails to over 40 faculty members in every Central Valley school, or sharing this opportunity through Word, through Zoom meetings or career fairs, I did everything in my power to share this opportunity. I had to learn how to find confidence within myself to persevere through doubts that I was not able to complete tasks. And I took this as an opportunity to share my experiences with others to show them how impactful my journey or my internship at the center has been. And I decided uh, to let students know that amidst the world shutting down around us, others are not giving up on them and they want to provide them with an experience that can shape their skill sets and their future aspirations. And in the end, more than 40% of the in accepted interns were through my efforts. So for self-learning, uh, personally, I learned how to take initiative in my project so that the end result is valued and of high quality. And I learned how to find confidence regardless of any short in, uh, shortcomings, real or imaginary, and to take each experience as a lesson to grow and learn from. And another big learning outcome was the importance of presentation skills and understanding that you are constantly representing who you are, as well as what the company is that you work for. So whether it was through conducting meetings with students or faculty, or even sending out emails, I learned how to re represent my work to the best of my ability, and therefore my work has been valued. Thank you. Thank you so much, Resleen. Next up, we have Juan Ochoa from Raidley College, who interned with the company Stash. On to you, Juan. Hi, everyone. My name is Juan Ochoa. I'm a former student at Reedley College. For three semesters, I majored in business administration, and then I decided to take a three semester break from college because I wanted to figure out um, things personally because right away after high school I went into college which is most students do but I thought it was an important thing for me to do to reflect on my life and my goals and so in the fall of 2019 I returned to really college and I wanted to learn about entrepreneurship and apply it to my career and I was able to meet um, wonderful students who um, we're in a club called CEO, and I'm so grateful for that experience, and I'm thankful that I, I got the opportunity to learn about entrepreneurship and also meeting students that are ambitious and want to open their own businesses. The company I had the opportunity to intern with is called Stash. They are a storage company. The founder is Michael Anderson. He was a person, the co-founder I communicated with most often, and I would uh, turn in my assignments to him. Their motto is connecting people to underutilized space in their community. To me, that motto means that Stash is willing to help communities to receive more income for people who have space in their home or apartment and are willing to offer storage to people. My role as an intern for Stash was writing articles. For example, I wrote articles of the top three apps to make money, also the top restaurants in cities, and also histories, the history of cities. And that led to me learning about CEO search engine optimization. And I also learned about relationship building, but not just regular re relationship building, but also remote relationship building. I realized that it was important for me to keep constant communication with my founder because through email, because then I would um, 
the connection would get lost. So it was important to me that I communicated with him as often as possible. And I also learned about time management since um, COVID-19 hit. Um, I had to start working from home and also my school assignments I had to do them from home. And it was difficult because it was difficult for me because um, sometimes I didn't want to do the schoolwork or my job assignments because I wanted to be with my family because I also felt like I was on vacation. And even though I wasn't, uh, even I didn't need to interact with my family, but just being there with them, that's what I wanted to do the most. And so it was difficult for me to complete my task and duties as a student, as an employee, and also as an intern. And so um, uh, one thing that I did was send an email to my founder and told him uh, how I was feeling and why um, I was behind on the assignments. And he understood, um, specifically in the beginning, he told me that to take my time and really think about the internship and not stress too much about it. So that gave me reassurance that it's okay for me to take my time. And personally, so one thing that uh, is something that I struggle with is confidence. Um, at the beginning of the internship, I had some confidence, but um, because I didn't know how the internship would go or what I would do, I was uh, unconfident as I should have been confident. So um, at the beginning of the internship, uh, I was paired with a, a startup company called Is It. Uh, I had a first meeting with him and my colleague and the meeting didn't go as planned. Uh, it felt a bit, um, it was a bit difficult for my colleague and I to uh, really feel like we were gonna get the, the internship. Uh, we kind of felt like we weren't sure if we wanted to continue with the internship after the meeting with the first founder. Um, it was somewhat unwelcoming and we also um, got a bit defensive about it. Uh, so the meeting ended and after the meeting, I, he was asking, he was asking us uh, to write a proposal for, to give him a proposal and my colleague and I weren't sure about it. Uh, so uh, my confidence decreased set during that moment. So I decided to speak um, with my mentor, Dr. Sarah. And she really helped me a lot because I wanted to quit. And she spoke to me, um, spoke to us, my colleague and I, to continue on with it, even though we didn't have the best experience. So I, I did want to quit. Um, but luckily, because of my mentor, Dr. Sarah, I decided to continue. And that's how I gained endurance. And that's how because of my endurance and my confidence and because of the help of my uh, mentor, I continued on with the internship and got the opportunity to intern with the company Stash. So thank you guys. Awesome, thanks so much Juan. Next up, we have Jay from Pasadena College. Unfortunately, Myra can't join us today. She's feeling under the weather, um, but we have Jay here with us. Welcome, Jay. Hi guys, good morning. Um, so I'm a student at Pasadena City College, class of 2022. I'm a business finance major. The company that I interned for was Stash. It's a company that connects prospective clients in need of storage space in their local area. <clears throat> Excuse me. They provide safe and cheap storage units by connecting clients with homeowners who have airspace to store. This also creates extra revenue for the host that can provide storage space for other clients. My internship put a perspective in my related course major and career goals that I can apply in the workforce. This internship has also enhanced my academics and career development. During my experience, I was able to explore my career options, develop leadership skills, and network with other like-minded individuals. Stash taught me key points for strategically marketing 
to targeted areas that enhance my uh, SEO skill sets. I am now fully equipped with the marketing fundamentals to maximize traffic of targeted clients to any future e-commerce business that I would take part of. Uh, next slide, please. So the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center saw the fire and burning desire that resided in me. I love to meet new people and implement net networking skills. This internship has helped me establish professional contacts that are at my disposal. My mentor, Dr. Keen, was there to guide me every step of the way. He provided me with a structured experience that I can add to my resume for future job opportunities. I can put valuable experiences that would set me apart from other candidates through the accomplishments during my internship experience, thanks to the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center stash and my mentor. After my experience is gained, I can reap the benefits and knowledge I apply to the workforce. And next slide, please. So my overall experience helped me develop tremendous improvements on my skill sets. These skill sets include, but not limited to, maintaining project management and help me manage status reports and work plans. I provided research and administrative assistance for the stash on special projects assigned to me. I presented findings and made recommendations for new business proposals. I've performed work assignments in support of departmental goals. I worked closely with the founder and provided reports and information related to compliance review. I was able to manage site traffic to see where the most of the leads were coming in. I organized blog entries to engage with prospective clients and establish great customer relations while building strong business relationships with my founder and his team. These experience I gained working with, the, with my appointed company will su supplement my chances of getting hired at a prospective company. Although I gained a lot of experience in such little time, I've also continued to receive constant feedback that helped me grow. One of my feedbacks I received was I needed to properly manage my time and meet deadlines. At the closing of this course, I was able to understand how to implement marketing strategies that would maximize revenue to a business while working remotely. During these trying times of the pandemic, I've been able to grow tremendously in avenues of business world in relations to marketing strategies. Sorry, the gardeners decided to come today. I have learned the importance of conducting due diligence of prospective areas to create business funnels to apprehend future clients. Not only am I efficient in marketing strategies, but I have been able to develop my skills and time management. And these skill sets acquired will assist me in succeeding in the world of business. I enjoyed my time learning and I've grown from all experiences I came across. And because of this course, I was able to develop networking opportunities to broaden my horizon. Being an entrepreneur runs in my veins and every stepping stone I lay, I hold a purpose towards my future success. I can proudly say I accomplished many of my long-term goals I set for. I believe that in it's the little things in life that slowly build into our success. I am also grateful for the experience that I've received through my internship, grateful for developing time management skills, and especially grateful that I took the leap to further my education, and open doors and networking like, with like-minded individuals from other business. Thank you guys. Thank you, Jay. No problem about the gardener. <laughs> Next up, we have Andrew from Bradley College. Hello everyone. My name is Andrew Medina and me and Jaden are going to intro do introduction for our uh, startup. Hi everyone, I am Andrew from Bradley College. I'm Jaden from Pasadena City College. The company we intend for is Finalize. Finalize is a sports search engine for sports, sports betting, and fantasy sports data, information, and other related features. In recent years, thanks to the th thriving sports industry and the trend of legalization of sports betting and fantasy sports, the latter is on its even rapid development stage. However, since a lot of players don't have enough time to participate in and do research, Penalize is dedicated to speeding up the fantasy sports and sports betting analysis with better and straightforward approach to sports search results through mobile app. Can you go back to the previous slide? I 
uh, I'm a, I went to Ridley College for college and I majored in entrepreneurship. Reasons why I uh, went for entrepreneurship is to help my family financially. And because I also enjoy business a lot and like to make music. I didn't really know what to major in after high school. So a friend taught me about entrepreneurship. And since I did music and other business related activities, I figured entrepreneurship would be the way to go. Some goals I have are to make my own business and to make money off of my passion. Some things I've did at Finalize were very helpful and very uh, will help me in the future. I researched the mobile and fantasy sports target market. The target market was very interesting to look over and the, as well as the app store sales. I also learned neat things also like most active states in sports betting. I created a marketing research presentation that includes stats and graphs and lots of data. The company uh, finalized, I was given a presentation for marketing and it was pretty awesome to present that to them. Some things I've learned are, that are very helpful were digital learning, learn to use data and analytics as well as meetings via Zoom. I'm not gonna lie, uh, at first Zoom was pretty confusing and it still kind of is, <laughs> uh, but I'm glad to learn a lot more about that to help in the future. I'm not the most confident person, but uh, I feel like we're told to be confident but not really taught how to be it. So learning how to be confident through the program was very helpful for the future. Relationship building, I was able to learn uh, for the founder, able to ask questions, get help. Uh, it was a very uh, great experience. Uh, adaption with the coronavirus, uh, it was very tough, I believe, on everybody, but I was able to push through and adapt to the surrounding environments along with schoolwork and my duties for the startup. I find this program very helpful because I was one of my goals was to work for a startup and intern for one. So it was pretty uh, awesome to get the chance to. And that's my presentation. Thanks, Andrew. I'm Jaden, and I major in business and administration at Pasadena City College, mentored by Dr. Keen in this internship, and my founder is Mr. Juan. In this internship, I completed two projects, including um, market research and financial model. Um, next slide, please. And for market research, I separated into three sections, a sports industry environment, cus customers, demographic features, and competitors' products. And after collecting these information, I synthesized statistics and trends and analyzed the comparison between competitors' pricing policies and product features. To dive deeper, I explore the factors that could affect the sell and product, extracting the business pattern and core logic applied in the current market. These all prepare me to sum summarize and propose recommendation about the pricing policy, which also inspires me to present my other findings weekly about logo and product design and consumers' preferences to my founder. And while I was taking accounting class this semester and really looking forward to some real world experience, I talked to my founder and he agreed to assign me a second project with about uh, building a financial forecasting mod model through Excel. And I study the relationships between important indexes and provide feedback about how core variables adjustments can lead to potential change in profitability and financial health. And I also try to conduct some basic scenario assumptions and sensitivity analysis, which is kind of lack of professions, but a really precious experience for me. And looking back at this adventure, there are some obstacles I overcome. At the beginning, it was tough for me since I knew a little about the football and baseball sports, as well as the sports betting and fantasy sports industry. It greatly challenged my time man management as I spent around 30 hours per week in the first two weeks which thus became a, 
an impetus for me later. And the other challenge was communication. I developed the competence of taking notes and reacting fast by analyzing what my founder and mentor really means and try to, trying to confirm it. Aside from the hard abilities such as performing on Excel, my biggest gains also include resource organization and synthesis and emotion, emotional management. It was kind of interesting when setting up procedures for completing projects and organizing all effective information and get the most out of it. Under the tough economic circumstances right now, I was deeply impressed by my uh, mentor, my mentor and founder of how they stay optimistic and rational to analyze uh, the potential opportunities brought. It was actually meaningful that I learned how to adjust myself into the wave of the surroundings and develop my time management, which I regard as part of emotion management. The experience brings unique value for me since I benefit from the flexibility granted by my founder, which also allows me plenty of developing space and have the chance to get acquainted to um, various aspects of running a startup business, uh, including research, finance, and product. I also found the previous communication section here at NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center helpful as I able to learn from others experience without having to do it myself as well as practicing verbal expression and for the future i have had a better understanding about myself through this program that i need to do better in implement and consistency in this first step into the real business world i came to realize how important the classes i'm attending at school are and for me, they are now no longer about passing the exams, but um, and this dispensable process of accumulating basic knowledge, which composes the, oh, sorry, which composes the business world and knowing exactly how it works in reality, and uh, it makes it makes it more interesting and exciting to learn for myself instead of the exams. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jaden and Andrew. Next up, we have Joshua and May from Porterville College. Good morning, everyone. Good, Good morning. morning. Can we get the next slide, please, Isis? Oh, my name is May Day. I have just achieved my ASP in agribusiness and an AA in social science through Porterville College. And uh, okay, actually, Joshua, did you? Earthquake here, one second. Yeah, we just went through an earthquake. <laughs> we just felt an earthquake. Oh my goodness. It's actually still going, guys. Just hang on just a second. Wow. Oh no okay. May, go wow. stand in your day. Still going. I get my child. <laughs> one sec. <laughs> Hope you guys are okay, May and Josh. Yeah, it was an earthquake. Oh my goodness. Um, May, do you want a second? Do you want us to go to the next presentation while you guys get settled in? I think it stopped. I think we're okay, but I'm also just getting phone calls. Okay, yes, yes. We'll go through the next one. I've got phone calls now coming in. You want us to come back to you? Yes. Okay, no problem. Matt, let's go ahead and move forward to Casey from Pasadena, and then we'll come back to Joshua and May. Awesome. So we have Casey from Pasadena City College. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Casey Young, and again, I am from Pasadena City College, majoring in business administration with a focus on international studies. So again, who am I? I'm a freshman here at PCC, finishing up my first year and starting off this uh, summer semester. The company that I was matched with was String. String is a mobile device application that brings innovative features to the texting platform. 
You can communicate in a faster and more efficient manner with features such as automated smart responses, message templates, and custom filters to organize your contacts. Uh, next slide. My contribution to the company. So I was able to research and collect potential leads and contacts through various outreach platforms. And that was my goal was to just collect these information. And I was able to publish and share with other team members and the foundation so that they can move forward with their own advertising potentials. Uh, the key learnings that I gained through this internship, I learned where my priorities lie and my own capabilities in achieving everything. And I learned how to communicate that regardless of how trivial a question may sound, it is right to just ask and communicate in a more efficient manner. Thank you. Thanks, Casey. Next up, we have Richard from Pasadena College and Vincent from Orange Coast College. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Vincent Lamb. I'm a first year student at Orange Coast College, and I'm majoring in business administration. Hey, Richard, I don't think we can hear you. No, I'm sorry, Richard. I still, I still can't hear you. Can anyone else hear Richard? Uh, no, we can't hear Richard. Richard, maybe you try taking out your headphones. Um, Vincent, why don't you go ahead and get started and then Richard can work on his audio. Okay, um, so I'll just uh, go on with uh, Honeyfy. Honeyfy is a, a man, money management uh, app that's made specifically for couples and it allow, um, couples have, yeah, uh, it allows couples to allocate funds together and share their finances in a way that they feel com comfortable about it. Um, and I'll just explain who Richard is just briefly. Uh, Richard and I have been working close together and he's a first year student. He's also majoring in business administration with a concentration in economics. Okay, go on, thank you. So what Richard and I did together was, uh, one of the first things we did was we used the app and we uh, determined ways that we can improve the user interface simply by using it and seeing what um, what what we felt would change just simply as users. Our second goal was expanding the company's social media presence. Uh, me, I work mainly on Instagram and Richard helped me along the way with Instagram. And I understand that Richard also did things on Pinterest and other social media sites. Oh, we determined, oh, Sorry about that. Uh, we determined ways to increase the followers and interactions. Um, and later on down the line, Richard and I worked together and created a, a plan as to how we were going to achieve these goals. And if you, you can go on to the next slide. Matt. So one of the biggest challenges for me was timelines and deadly, uh, deadlines. Um, the difference between a college environment and a work environment is that in college, you have goals that you have to achieve, like um, you are given homework and you answer certain questions. But in a work environment, you don't necessarily have all the questions that you need to get answered. You have a goal that you have to reach and you have to ask yourself these questions along the way to reach that goal. So you have a lot of critical thinking and, you, and not only that, uh, I had to, self-motivate and get myself to do all these things. The next thing for me would be art and design. Sorry. Yeah. Art and design was just, it's not one of my strongest points and it definitely took some time in practice. 
uh, I w- Richard and I were creating Instagram posts together. So I had to create these posts. Um, and when I first started making them, they were just awful. Just things weren't lining up, the colors weren't right. But after just repeatedly um, making more and more posts and just practicing, I was actually able to create some really, um, some decent, some decent posts. And I, and you know, I saw those work so on to uh, be on Honeyfy's Instagram page. Market research was the next thing I learned. So, you know, looking at other companies and seeing what they were doing and picking what I felt was good from those companies and then applying it to what uh, I needed to get done at Honey, Honey Five. Um, and the, the best thing about it, uh, about all of this, is the real hands-on experience I was able to get. Hello? Hey, Richard, we're able to hear you now. Hey. Okay, oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you know, what drew me at first to NASDAQ entrepreneurship was the idea of working with a startup. And once I started working with Honeyfy, I understood that this wasn't the typical internship experience I was going to be having. It's not like just busy work that they just need you to get done and you just sit there for hours on end. It was nothing like that at all. I was given the opportunity to work with great people, uh, Sam and Joe, and they taught me a lot about what it takes to start a startup. I had Isis and Matt who were there whenever I had any questions, and not and my mentor, Fred, who led me in the right dis- direction and taught me so much. Because of this opportunity, I was able to uh, now know that in the future, I probably do want to work with a startup. And I now understand that in any environment, that there are always going to be people that are relying on you and that you got to get things done. Hello, everybody. Sorry for the complications that happened earlier. Uh, I'll just introduce myself again. Uh, I'm Richard Gallegos. I am from PCC. This is my first year here. I am majoring in the business administration with a concentration in accounting. And some of the key learnings that I had while working at Honey Pie and, and during this internship were social media and teamwork. At the start of this internship, there was many social media models and techniques that I didn't understand or even knew existed at the start of the internship. But as I, but as I continued working with the founders and Vincent, I discovered many of those techniques were used on me on a daily basis. I just never thought about them. And many of them involved keywords, designs, and... Uh, basically just what I saw on a daily basis and never thought about. And while working with Vincent, which I had a better social media understanding than myself and working with him during Instagram posts, I understand his, I understood and learned from his perspective and skills that he used to create and design those Instagram posts. And further down the line, I was able to create and make those type of posts similar to Vincent's style and better understand what type of posts are needed for Honeyfy's Instagram, <clears throat> which also involved planning and creating a schedule for Instagram and understanding the best demographics that are suited for Honeyfy and also finding out what type of time frame that demographic uh, best interacts with Instagram posts. And regarding market research and ASO, there's a lot of models and techniques and processes that I learned about market research and app store optimization, which I thought was very interesting at the start of my internship and throughout it. Some of them revolved around the models of the premium, premium, and premium models of industries and <clears throat> and how they use it to best suit their users and clientele. And the other aspects I learned about were the ASO, which was app store optimizations, which I learned about their onboarding process, which was, I thought was a very valuable experience Throughout my use of the App Store and many other websites, I never understood how businesses and companies uh, get traction and get uh, users involved with their company. And while studying and researching ASO, I learned a lot about keywords and how their popularity can create traction and users for their company and apps. And more about the onboarding process that I learned were more about the preview videos used in the App Store, such as 
their length, their commentary and music used in the production of those videos, and the type of information that is involved in those videos that can lead to the, uh, an increase in the onboarding for their apps. And concerning about myself, what I learned about myself uh, revolved around confidence. At the start of my internship, there's many aspects about myself that I didn't understand, and I believe that I was confident in, such as speaking and interacting with the founders. But at the start of the internship, I was somewhat nervous speaking to the founders, considering their position in the company and understanding how uh, little people I had to work with during my stay there in the internship. So I'll, I always assumed I had to bring my best, which I did, but I always felt pressured. But I was working with the founders and constantly being in meetings with them and talking to them, that I realized that even in the professional setting, my founders were very accepting of me and made me as comfortable as possible in my meetings, which led to an increase in my confidence. And as I continued my internship, I also worked with my mentor, which is Dr. King, which also helped me a lot with my confidence and getting involved with my projects and also my speaking skills. As well as working with Dr. King, he helped me out with venting whenever there was issues concerning the pandemic or any personal issues as well. And concerning the NASDAQ program, concerning my confidence, throughout my meetings without, with the NASDAQ program and learning from the experiences from the other interns and realizing that many of the interns in the program as well have the, have the same problems as me, made me realize that I'm not alone in this and there's, they also have the same issues as me, so I shouldn't be worrying about them too much and just work off of them and learn from my mistakes. And concerning the skills that I learned in my internship, many of the skills that I learned were around social media and marketing research that I never understood before. And it made me realize that there's a lot of aspects in life and a lot of aspects in businesses that I never thought about and I feel are very important in creating decisions for my future and my career path. And that's my presentation. Awesome. Thank you, Vincent and Richard. Um, next up, we're actually going to circle back to Josh and May um, and get started from there. Are you ready, May? Okay, I'm good. I'm outside now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah, that was something. Okay, um, can we go back to the beginning, I suppose? Yeah. Okay, so good morning, good morning, everyone. Um, to those of you that felt the earthquake, surprise. Um, my name is May Day. I just received my AST in agribusiness, as well as an AA in social science through Portoville College. And I am partnered with Josh Reagan. My name is Josh Reagan, and I am an associate in science for transfer and mathematics at Portoville College. We both intern with Wexis Technologies. Can we go back, please, to that last slide? So we are both in training with Wexis Technologies. Wexis is a company whose vision is to empower the customer with intuitive technologies to drive resource efficiency. Their mission is to help farms save money, energy, time, and water through Wexis services and technology. Data is gathered by Wexis Technologies and translated into an easily digestible application available to customers. Next slide, please. So our role with the company was to work closely with the operations team on analytical projects that focused on the energy, water, and cost impacts for agricultural farms using the Wexis Internet of Things platform. We assisted the product development team to improve user engagement tracking and reporting metrics. We also assisted the business development team to implement new customer data into the Wexis platform. So within the operations teams, our key area of impact has been within the data analytics. Um, we assisted with data entry in the Wexis app software platform where we reviewed pump test reports, solar array information, and energy and water data. We also validated data quality check methods to ensure that information was accurate in the platform. With this, we checked out customer metering um, authorizations and geo 
geotag locations for equipment. We also developed analytics for projects that drive energy, water, and cost savings. We reviewed irrigation pump energy savings for OBF or on-bill financing projects. We also reviewed solar net energy meeting, metering. Next slide, please. Our product development impact was mostly with user engagement. We streamlined process, processes and improved user engagement reporting accuracy. We prepared detailed findings and presented results of customer user engagement for team meetings. We used different apps such as Keen.io and Salesforce and MailChimp to put together this data. We also added to the Wexis app marketing and social media content by each publishing one agricultural slash technology relevant blog post. <clears throat> My blog post was about coronavirus and the ag supply chain breakdown. I'll give you guys a short summary. Due the, to the current pandemic, the agricultural industry has been hit hard. Currently, labor shortages and supply chain hangups are cutting into farmers' bottom lines. Meat and dairy producers have struggled to shift supplies from restaurants to grocery stores, leading to in-store shortages. However, experts say that America is not facing food shortages. The problem lies in the supply chain. And my blog post was about how all this economic uncertainty, it's very important for farms to keep their bottom line down. And so it focuses on how Wexis can help farmers save water, energy, and money through our technology. And the blog post that I wrote about was focusing on navigating fear and adapting to the pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused a sweeping amount of fear and uncertainty as markets slow down to combat a global pandemic, farmers must continue to feed the world. With Wexis technology, software, and services, some of those fears about resources can be put to rest with reliable, accessible data. And within my post, some of the key topics that I touched on were sustainability and how it can be managed with the data available with the Wexis app. And farmers would have access to water and energy usage data through the app in order to maximize the input and output of their equipment. For the business development end, our key areas of impact were customer engagement and sales support. For customer engagement, we assisted with ongoing customer support with the Salesforce website. And for sales support, we executed, executed various data gathering projects in order to assist with post-sale customer engagement. So for our key learnings, personally, what I learned was that I am far more capable than I allowed myself to believe. 12 weeks ago, I wasn't as confident as I am today in my abilities to perform the tasks that are given to me. And professionally, I have learned that I can adapt to a changing work environment with patience and determination. My key learnings was that my ability to focus in on a task and learn on the go are two of my greatest strengths. Because when we first started this internship, it was a lot of information at once and we had to really learn on the go. And Mr. Vines always told us that we were drinking by the fire hose and that's how it was. And our ability to adapt really helped us. And professionally, I learned how to function in a fast paced professional environment and ask for help when needed. Awesome, thank you, Josh and May. Next up, we have Pauline from City College of San Francisco. Can you guys hear me now? Yep, we can hear you now, Paul. Okay, great. 
Okay, sorry about that. All right, let me start, just start over. All right, hello everyone. My name is Pauline Manina, and I want to thank you to Matt, Isis, and Selena from NASDAQ, as well as Sadale for my uh, internship at Open Grants, as well as my faculty mentor, Ms. Vivian Tastino from City College San Francisco. So a little about me, I graduated from TCSF last May 2020 with a major of business administration and I am an incoming junior at UC Berkeley Haas this fall. So I decided to add this image of women in business in my slide because that is like one of my biggest motivators is to empower women to achieve more leadership roles in this industry. Next slide, please. All right, so the intern, I had an internship at OpenGrants.io. They are a SaaS platform that eliminates barriers for startups and grant writers by making it easier for them to connect to each other, which increases their likelihood that they would be selected for a grant. And their overall mission is to democratize public funding. So one of the biggest challenges that I faced during my internship is being honest to not only myself, but also to my faculty and mentors about like how I'm feeling, just especially during this pandemic and like struggling with like any mental health issues just because like it's been hard like adapting to this new normal and they have been super uh, understanding. Can you go back to the previous slide, please? Thank you. And my impact at OpenGrants.io is utilizing like Google Analytics, Data Studio to create funnels to tell the user journey, as well as using social media to boost brand awareness and writing thought leadership content for their Medium website. Next slide, please. So these are like some of my self learnings, my professional and personal takeaway. And I, what I really learned about myself is that I really enjoyed um, in-person activities like because it's easier to communicate with my colleagues and my mentors. And I really like found it like very valuable for this internship is like having the opportunity to experience firsthand how it's like being an entrepreneur and the struggles and obstacles that they face every single day. And this just made me more excited to be an entrepreneur is because I want to experience the same energy that my founder feels every single morning when they pursue that something that they're passionate about. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Pauline. Next up, we have Amy from Cuesta College. Good morning, everyone. Next slide, please. My name is Amy Carvajal with Cuesta College in Los Obispo. I'll be getting my associate's degrees in business administration and economics next spring. And my internship was with Ends and Stems based out of San Francisco, which is a meal planning service designed to reduce household food waste and to stop the effects of climate change. And something I learned about myself throughout this process is that even me, who was just a freshman in college at the time, can present value to an early stage startup company. And it's through my founder, Allison, who encouraged me and lifted me up with each task that uh, I was able to be successful. So I'd like to give a special thank, thank you and shout out to her for being there with me throughout this process. Next slide, please. Now, some of the projects that I worked on through my internship were generating weekly social media content across Facebook and Instagram, which led to an increased engagement and following Facebook group and our Instagram pages. I also compiled recipes and graphics online to create a cookbook, which was a lot of fun. And now that material is ready to be distributed amongst our following and our mailing list, and that will also increase website traffic to our customers and sales. I also researched compatible marketing partners to launch a webinar, which was my first time doing anything of the sort. And that's gonna grow our branding network, and we will soon have a combined audience among similar niches in like the sustainability community and food waste influencers. Next slide, please. Some of my key learnings throughout this internship were that founders and their teams have to wear multiple hats. And if you don't know how to do something, you find someone who does and you learn from them. Like I had mentioned in the previous slide, one of my tasks was researching how to host a webinar. And um, myself nor my founder had no previous experience in doing that. So, uh, it was through that experience specifically where I learned to break down a problem and approach at it with kind of just going through the dark and learning as you go. Know, and I believe that will help me with future endeavors and increase my confidence in learning new skills. I also learned about how creating a brand and customer base requires constant engagement and community. One of my main tasks was managing our Facebook group 
that consisted of current customers and also potential customers. And I was creating the content for that. And that's where I learned that genuine connection and uh, that kind of experience with customers is the most valuable. You can't really fake having a genuine experience with your customer base. And the more genuine connections you have, the better off you'll be company-wide and with overall customer satisfaction. And overall, I had a really great time this spring and I'm gonna take my learnings as I move on to future endeavors and hopefully start a company of my own. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Next up, we have Alejandra from Diablo Valley. Hello, Valley. Hello everyone. Um, could we go to the next slide, please? There we go. Hi, everyone. My name is Alejandra Ruiz Hernandez, and I'm currently a rising sophomore at Diablo Valley College studying business administration. So the startup I've been able to work with throughout this internship is called Amy, and it is the first low carb, high protein instant ramen company. Their mission is to revolutionize the way ramen is made by ensuring healthier and better for you ingredients while remaining true to its taste and deliciousness. They've reimagined the way ramen is made to make sure that eating it can be even more beneficial to us all. So now, next slide, please. How have I added value to their company? So my main task throughout this time has been to research and strategize the most efficient ways to market their product via Instagram stories. And afterwards, I've been able to develop and actually execute such marketing strategy via their Instagram stories. Another important task I've done is to research and create a list of new video series ideas for their YouTube channel. And while I was also supposed to actually execute and develop those videos because of the current situation, I haven't been able to. Um, but yeah, those have been the main task. And then these are some of the stories that I've actually developed. Uh, anything from like the recipes to ramen inspiration to health facts. So that's some of the ones I've done. Next slide, please. There we go. Thank you. Uh, so some of the key learnings. Personally, one of the main key learnings has been to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. There have been many times throughout this internship where I felt intimidated and scared and just many of the tasks were unfamiliar to me. And so it was actually scary to get started on them. For instance, one of my tasks throughout this time has been to lead our weekly meetings and this, was, this felt like a huge responsibility at first. And, it, and so it has been through the mindset of being comfortable with being uncomfortable that I've been able to grow so much in confidence, public speaking, communication, and many other things. Then as for professional learnings, I've learned the importance and value to research, um, especially as I've done mostly marketing throughout this time, I've learned how important research is in order to actually do my task as well as, well as I can. And then also, sorry, one last part, there we go, sorry. And finally, to think outside the box. There were many times where I felt stuck in some of my tasks. And so it was through thinking outside the box and getting creative with it that I was able to actually move forward and accomplish my tasks. Thank you, next one. So overall, the most valuable experiences with this program. First of all, I've learned that I really, really enjoy working for a startup and that I could potentially see myself doing that in the future. I love how in particular this startup was, they were able to bring their passion and make that their job and their company. And I'm just very inspired by that. And I hope to be able to do something like that in the future. And then finally, I've also learned to fight through the obstacles in the way and keep on finding new ways to overcome them. Especially through this situation, there were many obstacles. My founder, there were many times where he'd come and tell me of the different problems they were experiencing as a company, However, he would never do so in a negative way or with the mindset of giving up, but rather he'd always describe any way that we're going to approach the problem. And so I was very inspired by, by this way of doing things. And I will definitely apply this to many other aspects in my life. And overall, this has been a great experience and I'm very grateful for it. And yeah, thank you so much. Thanks so much, Alejandra. Next up, we have Rayana from Diablo Valley College. Hey, my name is Rayana McKinney. I'm a first year biology major at DVC. My startup company is the Emmy Company, and they are focused on ramen noodles, instant ramen noodles that focus on health and flavor. Both of the co-founders have backgrounds familiar with um, health issues relating to unhealthy foods. 
And with that in mind, they set out to make an instant ramen noodle that was healthy, as well as um, including their um, nostalgic flavors that we all you know, grew up and are familiar with. Next slide, please. Some creative actions I took while being an intern are I researched some similar company ads through Facebook to get an understanding of how they speak to their audience and promote their products. And the outcome for that was that the research showed that they showed a lot of their packaging as well as out of the packaging or in meals. And this helped give a better direction to how we would make the ads, which was my creative, my second creative action. And I created ads based on my research and the mission of the company and started to work through on them through Facebook's ad manager. And the outcome for this is that we learned that showing the, the product through on these ads, through the ad, Facebook ad manager and giving a general amount of information was the best way to reach out to our audience. Next slide, please. Some of my learnings was I learned that documentation is very essential for moving forward and staying on track with your goals. And a personal insight I have discovered is that discipline is very important to maintain through all the experiences you go through, no matter what's going on in your life, professionally or personally. Thank you. Thank you, Rayana. Um, again, unfortunately, Ashley is under the weather today. So next up, we have Alana Hulse and Madison Smith from Mount San Jacinto College. Hi guys, I'm Alana. And I'm Madison. And we're intern matched with the company Blue Cross. Hope you guys enjoy. So like I said, my name is Madison Smith. I'm expected to graduate in spring 2021 with my Associates of Business Administration, uh, where I will transfer to Cal State Marcos, where I will pursue my Bachelor's of Business with a concentration in marketing. So Bloom Bros was designed out of exasperation in the sports bra market for inclusive sizing. Uh, founder Elise Kay was not considered plus size, but her bust was in the category. So she designed a sports bra that empowers women to get back out there with ease, comfortability, and most importantly, support. Next. And I'm Alana Holtz, and I'm currently a sophomore graduating spring 2022 in business management with an emphasis on marketing and communications at Mount San Jacinto Community College. Our founder had frustrations with the fact she could not find the right size sports bra, so she brought in the top female leaders in NASA and designers for Oprah to create the Bloom Bra. Next slide. So some of the work that I did at Bloom Bras was working on email newsletters, such on platforms like Clavio, as well as working on the back end of Shopify to boost our SEO on Google, as well as create blog posts. Um, I also led our COVID-19 response on our social platforms. And I also created graphics for our buy a bra, give a bra program. Uh, this is where we donated one bra to someone on the front lines for each one purchased. Next. Um, as for me, I created a, a bingo template for the Instagram and Facebook pages. It added customer engagement while also having something fun to do during the quarantine. I also made a blog post on the website regarding small businesses needing our support now more than ever during this time, not only for the ones locally, but for the ones who also practice sustainability. Uh, I mainly did a lot of PR work with my side of the company. Um, I did a lot of pitches to the press and possible candidates on social media who would become uh, future brand ambassadors for the company. I use platforms like Haro and HubSpot that would reach out to anyone from the press and pretty much I would go through a list of inquiries and see what topic would relate to the company and I would, I would reach out to them. So some of the insights I gained through this program personally is that I learned that I can adjust to any circumstance I learned that I'm a strong employee and that I am capable of more than I think I am. Um, I've gained a lot of confidence as well. Professionally, my communication abilities have, of course, um, skyrocketed. I work more efficiently, but I also acquired the knowledge from all aspects of running a business. So from SEO, sales, PR, social media, media, ad revenue, and product development, I really got to see what it takes to run a business. 
And then um, for me on a personal side, I've always been driven. I never knew when to really sit down and relax until I was literally forced to do so for my health and well-being of other others around me and for myself. I found professionally that I'm in the right field of helping others and I use my past customer service skills as my advantage. Um, I tend to you know, know that I need to stay on task for keeping the company happy or my clients happy. I care about their best interests uh, interest and the time sensitivity they might have. Our founder was like a perfect example of keeping calm and staying on the objective of Bloom Bros, reacting in the moment and really becoming a girl's best friend. So some of my personal growth throughout this um, really came a lot through the mentors and community. Um, you know, coming away from this, knowing that I have a support system um, that is going to be there throughout, you know, my education and hopefully career is what's so valuable about this program. Um, you know, all of us had to overcome this pandemic. Um, and I know it's given me a lot of confidence. Um, our, we had vision statements that we made at the beginning of this program in March, um, and I just want to briefly read mine. I said, I wanted to create a lasting impact on people's lives through marketing products that instill confidence, ease, and positive memories, because I believe that every purchase should be intentional and create a difference in your life beyond the dollar. Um, I said, I'm uniquely positioned to do this work because I'm loving, dedicated, and relatable, and I think that that vision statement really propelled me into the work that I did at Bloom Bras, which I'm very proud of um, and excited for my future. And then as for me, my statement at the beginning of this journey was to be a light to a world that needs more radiance. So my intention for the program was to be able to express my ideas and environment to the founder to make sure she was comfortable and that we were both, you know, bouncing good ideas off of each other and making it a safe environment to do so. Um, you know, one of the biggest challenges I had to overcome was learning to relax. I used a lot of this time to reflect on what I needed to do next, um, whether it was career, with my family, or just my overall outlook on life. A valuable lesson that I was learning was pretty much converting to online practices. I'm more of a visual learner, so having to adjust to kind of how, you know, we do the Zoom calls and, and classes and whatnot, it was something that was really interesting to kind of transition into. Um, and then practicing balance helped shape my future because knowing my limits is super important to what you can really like handle. And then prioritizing is key. So I learned for myself overall is that I didn't expect that I need have to, like I really had to take things day by day. I always thought I had to do, you know, things that were planned out that day. And, um, you know, we're only, ho we're only human and we can only do so much. Just so just take it day by day and eventually you'll get to your goals. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Alana and Madison. Next up, we have Naya and Jennifer from Glendale Community College. All right, can you guys hear me? Is it working? Okay, there. There you there go. go. Okay. Yeah, Hi guys, my name is Naya Gaitan, and I am from Glendale Community College. Hi, my name is Jennifer, and I'm also from Glendale Community College. So, um, as I said, I'm a freshman at GCC and my major is business administration. Um, I was mentored by Pian Pian Zuga III, who is the director and product of product and head of growth for the startup company Winnie, which is an online marketplace for childcare services so that you can connect, parents can connect to any child cares, daycares, preschools that they would like to. And it also gives the opportunities to these businesses to connect to the parents making it easier for that connection that you wouldn't really have if you didn't have this marketplace. And I was also mentored by Professor Rafael Cardona, who is our faculty advisor at GCC and um, is a part of the business division at GCC. Like I said, my name is Jennifer, and I started in this internship as a sophomore student at Glendale Community College. I just recently obtained my AST in business, and I will be pursuing a degree in business administration with an emphasis in marketing. Um, Winnie, the, the match that 
Naya and I had is a startup company that was founded in 2016 by two amazing women, Sarah Muscop and Anna Halsam. And the reason they had created this platform for parents to be able to uh, communicate with trusted daycare, preschools, or childcare was because they were facing these challenges themselves, being new parents. And um, so a lot of the, the preschool daycares um, within Winnie, they have been recommended by other parents, uh, by other schools as well, and the rest of the community. So a little bit about what we've done throughout this internship was SEO research, which we engaged in research tasks to increase product traffic for the website and to provide useful information to users. And um, search engine optimization allows for content from a website to be found as a top result on search engines such as Google, Yahoo, and Bing. And um, we did content city search page um, for the SEO research, which research schools, activities for kids, and city data to be put up on the website to make it easier on parents who might be researching any of these topics. And um, thankfully to our professor, Professor Cardona, we had the ability to work with Brenda Jones, which um, helped us find any connections or like resources to research any of these topics, which made it a lot more easier to really dive deep into what we were doing and get the best information out there. Um, we also created posts for user engagement, which were used to get more users engaged in conversation on the website, answering any questions parents or childcare or daycares might have. Like there, uh, we had, uh, I wrote a post about how to teach um, children early reading skills and my question was based around the fact that I do work at a tutoring center so um, I'm constantly teaching little kids about um, like reading or math so I asked a question surrounding how to get kids to want to read and be motivated so that's a little example and I know Jennifer did a really great job on hers which got really um, a lot of people engaged in her um, conversation. She can talk more about that. Thank you, Naya. Um, just like she mentioned, we did uh, create posts to be able to engage uh, parents, teachers, and caregivers in topics that parents um, may have questions on. And the topic that uh, that the blog actually that I posted and it was acknowledged by Winnie's uh, company newsletter was if attending a preschool was recommended or if it was a must. So it got a lot of parents engaged in talking about the, the reasons why they enrolled their child in, in daycare and the benefits that they saw from it. And then also it engaged teachers to go ahead and answer the same question and giving uh, more in-depth reason why children should be enrolled in early learning like preschools. Um, another thing that we did do was we went ahead and we um, did research city demographic research and this was to go ahead and obtain information about the city, the population, family events, um, school ratings and the reason why we were doing this was because we wanted to go ahead and promote the daycare within the city and we wanted to go ahead in the same way use the search search engine optimization to go ahead and create those keywords to have organic traffic through the website. For, as for outcome, um, for me, I had a deeper understanding of how business are run, businesses are run. It shaped how I will view it in the future because there's so much that goes along into the process of even starting a business that many people don't know about. I went from having a surface level understanding of what it takes to run a business to a deeper understanding and knowledge of the complexities that occur within a business. Even like the smallest things are, can be one of the biggest impacts of the business. And that's where my true appreciation came. My biggest challenge was 
sort of understanding why like we were even doing this like why it was important and where I fit in with my role and it took a lot of questioning to understand and appreciate all of that and that's where it comes into appreciating the whole aspect of business and people's roles and how important everyone is no matter what um, it also came with the importance of connections and communication most valuable thing for me was realizing that staying in touch with those you work with is really important and will only benefit you in positive ways. Um, we each had, we all had meetings together. So we had our um, weekly meeting with Professor Cardona on Wednesdays um, where he really, um, he really cared about everything he was saying and any concerns that we had. He usually made everything into a lesson for us, which I thought was really great. And it was, just one of the most like important things like that I'll keep with me for like the rest of the um, rest of my life basically that everything can be made into a lesson and the connections that you make and staying in touch with people and we also had um, our Friday meetings all the time with Pian Pian and Professor Cardona with Jennifer as well and we caught up on everything if we had any questions we would ask and it was just benefit it benefited us in like the best way possible so that we could really get everything out of the internship and really take advantage of the opportunity that we had and that came with my passion i learned a lot through this intern match program and especially with the professor the guidance of professor cardona a new sense of confidence came to me and that like i am headed in the right direction with my major and overall future in the business industry Next slide, please. Oh, will you be able to go one? Uh, there we go. <laughs> um, so my personal takeaways from this internship have been um, self-discovery. At the beginning of the program, I did have an understanding that you did have to have a degree to be able to be successful, but what I did not realize, and I assume I gained this information from attending the seminar that Lamore hosted in about what your passion is. So I was able to understand that if I was passionate about a certain aspect in the business industry, to go ahead and follow that because me being truthful to myself and following my passion is what was going to make me more successful in my career. The biggest challenge that I faced with this internship was digging in deeply. Uh, we did have weekly journals to do, and I did find it a little bit challenging to dig deep, find the reason why I was feeling um, giddy about uh, finishing a project. And it helped me realize that it's because I was making a difference. As small as it was, I was making a difference and it was extremely important. Uh, flexibility. Uh, I was able to understand that any constructive criticism that was given to me, it was only for me to be able to grow. And time management, um, I was able to analyze what better strategic ways there was to prioritize work that was either in projects with Winnie or in schoolwork. Um, collaboration, I did learn that it was one of the best takeaways that I can take from this experience because it taught me that relying on help from Naya, from Pion Pion, or even my faculty mentor, that it was only going to benefit me in the long run and be able to go ahead and turn in quality projects. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much, Jennifer and Naya. Um, and that actually concludes our student presentations here. Thank you all so much for taking the time to share your experiences and all the incredible work you accomplished over the past couple months. I hope you are all as proud as we are of you. 
Mentorship is extremely valued at the center and the most important resource we can provide, and it's critical to the success of every individual. Every great leader has mentors who play critical roles in the development and success. This pay it forward philosophy is core to why the center exists today. With that said, we thank all the faculty mentors and founders for their unwavering commitments to these students, and we are so appreciative of everything you have put into seeing these students thrive. This experience will provide the students with a foundation to shape their future and really prepare them with the real life skills that they can take anywhere. I now open the floor to mentors who would like to share any insights about the program and student transformation. Um, and can go ahead and kick off with something shared from Fred Judd from Cuesta College, who unfortunately can't make it today, but wanted to express um, how proud and impressed he was of Vincent Lamb. He shared that he was impressed with his willingness to work with uncertainty and challenges that were presented. He really felt that he did a great job and was a real example to him and to others, including their dean, and a real great model for how to be a great intern. Fred received great comments from both his department chair and dean about Vincent and how he was the first to complete a business internship at the college. Fred also received great comments from Sam and Joe at Honeyfy at which he entered, and Vincent completed the requirements in great form, and he's so happy to have recommended him for a good grade. Um, and so here I open the floor. Please share your videos, um, and the floor is open to you to share a couple words about the students. This is open to the mentors and the founders. Hi, everyone. I'm Sarah McCosey. Um, with Reedley College. I just wanted to thank all of my students for um, a great experience. I want to thank Matt and Isis for working with the students and putting in the time to really make sure that they are, you know, um, learning from the experience and improving at the same time. Um, thank you, Elise, for, and Charles for making this um, possible. Um, I really felt like the internship, um, as Juan was discussing in the beginning, it was a little scary for them in the beginning because they they weren't sure what to expect. I mean, I sat in with them when they first spoke with their first founder. And um, they, like Juan said, uh, they both wanted to quit. And I talked to them about the opportunity and how this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity because they get to do, you know, uh, participate in remote, remote internships. So um, I also sat in with my other student, Andrew's um, first meeting with his uh, founder. Um, that was a, a very good experience. Um, the founder was very welcoming uh, and he just made both me and Andrew feel really comfortable. So I'm really, I'm really excited and, and happy that they actually finished today. Um, during their presentations, uh, I actually got teary eyed. Um, I'm very proud, um, wanted to cry because it's just, just their unwavering, you know, commitment to this internship, even with everything going on with, you know, COVID-19. And it has been a change for all of us. I mean, they're at home, you know, working on their internship as well as school at the same time. We're at home teaching from home. Um, I have, you know, my commitment to my children at home too. So I could understand how difficult it could have been for these students. So very, very, very proud of all of you who made it through this internship, I feel it has given me the opportunity, the knowledge and the experience to implement something like this in our rural era of, um, you know, Reedley College. I definitely want to get um, connected with more businesses through our, um, through our Chamber of Commerce to see if this is something that we can implement on a semester semester basis locally with um, my students in our BA 27 CEO club class. We're a smaller class and clubs, so I feel like this is something that I can implement uh, locally and definitely bring everything that I've learned through this um, externship and mentoring from this program with NASDAQ. And I do wanna continue strengthening the relationship with the NASDAQ and hopefully um, when everything gets better, <laughs> take some students out to visit the center because I was very um, happy that we were able and fortunate enough to visit before all of this happened. So I wanna thank you everyone. Hi, sis. This is Dr. Keen. I just wanted, um, I forgive me, guys. I don't have my video on right now. You don't want to see what's behind me, but I just want to thank you, Isis and Matt, for the incredible support and work that you have given um, the five students from Pasadena City College, uh, Myra, Jaden, Richard, Jay, and Casey. Um, they have been just like Professor Mokosi just mentioned. COVID smacked them up in the head, and all of a sudden, here comes Black Lives Matter. And it was a great, a great personal 
debate for a lot of these students, looking at their academics and coming from many of them underrepresented uh, cultures and communities, that their values were realigned with all these these incidences, these life-changing situations. So I see two great benefits from uh, this first cohort uh, from the NASDAQ and internship program, an amazing valuable opportunity I wish I had and all of my colleagues wish we had. So thank you for offering that. Thank you for changing the values. And um, I think they just smoked it. It was amazing. So thank, thank you very, very much for this opportunity. Thank you, Isis. Emily. This is Aaron from, oh, sorry. Oh, you're good, go. Okay, this is Aaron from Cuesta. You can hear me okay? Yep, we can, can you hear me? Okay, I want to just recognize Amy for a job well done with ENS and STEMS. Um, I had the pleasure of working with Amy in a class together prior to her being part of this internship and was expecting great things from her with the program. Um, and so congratulations to Amy, Isis, and Matt. Thank you for your help with making this happen. And um, I think that's about it. It's a great program and hopefully look forward to seeing more of it. This is Elisa thank you. with Porterville College. And I just wanna thank everybody involved. I mean, this kind of opportunity doesn't come very frequently for particularly for rural community college students and it's an opportunity that our students I can't imagine them getting in, in previous years and it's it's been it's been more wonderful than I can tell you guys um, the good the bad the challenging the excellent like everything it's like walking the entrepreneurial life, right? I mean, it's how it goes and so we're I'm so incredibly thankful for it. Um, I chose Josh and May particularly because they're introverts. And as faculty, it's very easy for us to be drawn to the extroverts because they always put themselves out there. And May and Josh both have a real quiet strength and wisdom. And I wanted them to have the opportunity to, um, to get out of their comfort zone and to be able to um, really learn how to articulate themselves well and to be uncomfortable. And they both did an absolutely fabulous job. And I'm, I'm thankful for their founders at Wexus. I'm thankful for um, Isis and um, Matt and everybody else who's involved. And I'm just, I'm just so, I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of them. One of my goals was to not be a handholder and to have them be troubleshooters on their own and to ask questions. And they did a fantastic job. And as an instructor, I think the biggest takeaways that I have is to lay a stronger foundation um, in terms of basic content, but l far less handholding on the troubleshooting side and allow some fla floundering and allow some pain for the, for the greater good of, of the knowledge that comes with it. So thank you guys. Hi, I'm Karen Hennessy from Mount San Jacinto College um, and my two uh, interns, Elena and Madison, I am just so proud of both of you. Um, through this whole process, I've seen you grow, come out of your shells and explore new things. This couldn't have happened without the NASDAQ Foundation. So Isis and Matt and Charles, thank you so much for putting this all on. Um, I cannot wait to show this with students from in the, in the future. So thank you again. And you girls, <clears throat> Hi everyone, I'm Rafael Cardona with Glendale College and um, I would like to first say a big thank you to Nicola and Isis and Matt. You guys have done a tremendous job given the circumstances to keep us all together. And I also want to take the opportunity to congratulate all of the students who participated in the program. Um, I think that um, if I had been you 25 years ago and had gone through the circumstances that we're living, I don't know that I would have handled it as well as you did. So a big congratulations from me to you. And I hope that this internship has served you in more ways than, than what you see. Um, as I look back at my career and my first internship, what I took away from it was the confidence and the strength to feel that I could solve any problem regardless of whether I knew what I was doing or not, it, the internship gave me the opportunity to develop self-confidence and I hope that you take that away along with all the hard skills that you have learned. 
Um, <clears throat> the NASDAQ Entrepreneurship Center, you know, a big thank you. And I truly hope that this opportunity will continue for other students to come. I'm more than willing to help whenever the opportunity comes around again. And Isis, you had specific questions for us that uh, you posed to me last time we spoke. And one of which was, you know, could I talk a little bit about the biggest value for our students and um, for the instructors? So in terms of the internship, um, I cannot speak enough about the value of bringing industry into the education of our students. Um, I was lucky enough 25 years ago to have, have given that opportunity. And uh, I do see the power behind marrying industry and the classroom. So I'll take the opportunity to encourage all of my colleagues here today to strive to continue to do that because our students will attest to the value of the validation they receive when they hear the lecture, um, they read the books, but they also practice um, with exercises that will become a part of the specific industry or a company. And from what I heard today, most of the students did exercise and work that actually ended up being part of the employer's portfolio. So um, I would just like to close up by saying this was an amazing opportunity and uh, I am very grateful, I'm humble, and um, I'm honored to have been part of this program. Thank you. Thank you all so much for sharing those kind words and taking the time to share. Um, I now invite Charles Eason and Solomon Devia to share a couple of remarks. Yes, good morning, thank you. So yeah, first of all, Isis, and uh, I, I want to start off by thanking Isis, Matt, Selena, Nicola at the uh, um, NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center. It's been such a privilege to work with you guys and such a high quality organization to be associated with you guys. So it's been great. And I just want to congratulate all the students too. You guys did a great job today, uh, great presentations. This is what makes it worthwhile for us from doing our jobs. And um, I remember when we uh, first kind of conceived of this project, it was a, a while back, we were actually at the um, uh, National Association Community College Entrepreneurship Conference in San Francisco it was at the hotel there and we sat down with Selena in the atrium and started kind of brainstorming on some ideas myself and a couple of our regional directors and then an opportunity came up with the Chancellor's Office had some funding this industry sector project common funding and we decided yes we're going to uh, try to do this project and uh, we were able to pull it all together but uh, one thing that's really great in uh, entrepreneurship is about doing and inter you know, internships, that's about doing as well. So uh, we really want to infuse you know, all these experiential learning opportunities for our students. So I think this is a great way for everybody to learn through student uh, internships. And um, you know, one of the things we've really been focused on is how can we infuse you know, entrepreneurship into all of our different curriculum education programs at the colleges. So you know, whether people are going through you know, graphic design or automotive technology or cosmetology or childcare or any of our programs, um, you know, they might someday end up being a business for themselves. They might start working initially, but we want them to have both the technical skills they need and also these business and entrepreneurial skills uh, for them to become future entrepreneurial leaders. So uh, one of the things we've really focused on is, you know, um, uh, you know having these dual pathways, entrepreneurship and self-employment is a career pathway. So you have different options. You can go to work or you can start your own business. And another thing we really focus on is that infusing the entrepreneurial mindset uh, into all of our coursework and program. And uh, in the presentations today, I heard a lot about the entrepreneurial mindset. I know um, Juan talked about persistence and not quitting or giving up. And you know, entrepreneurs, even in failure, they don't view failure as a failure, it's a learning opportunity. Um, heard Amy at Cuesta talking about problem solving and how entrepreneurs have all these different hats and how to learn how to do things for the first time. Uh, Alejandro talked about uh, overcoming obstacles. That's definitely something <laughs> you have to do as an entrepreneur. And uh, Jennifer talked about following your passion. So all these things are around the entrepreneurial mindset. Um, so that's uh, so important. I think we infuse that into all of our coursework. It's so great to see that and hear that today. Um, and uh, I'll, probably just, I'll close by saying, you know, that I uh, hope that all of you will continue your entrepreneurial learning and uh, you as both students and the faculty too. Um, hopefully the students will stay in touch with your faculty and also with your founding companies. And I encourage you to stay in touch with some of our programs. Um, we do have, um, I want to mention this Friday, we have our monthly webinar for the business and entrepreneurship sector at 11 o'clock. And uh, this uh, and it's a free webinar. So all of the faculty and students you can attend as well. 
we have a registration that's on our website at uh, it's just go to business and entrepreneurship.net but it's going to feature gary schoeninger who is the um, ceo of the entrepreneur learning initiative and uh, he's also the author of the book who owns the ice house which is um the based their entrepreneur, ice house entrepreneurship programs all around the entrepreneurial mindset and uh, Gary's just a great speaker. We've had him in the keynote several times. So if you can make that on Friday, I encourage you, all you faculty and students to do that as well. But um, yeah, we want to see if we can continue this program. Um, you know, we do have the uh, Central Valley to be continuing on uh, with the student internships. And we are working on some projects to continue on uh, with some additional funding. And today has really inspired me because um, to overcome obstacles. It's, it's, the community college system we have a lot of bureaucracy i'm trying to figure out how can we put this together to continue it and the funding but today has really uh, kind of inspired me to figure out how to overcome those obstacles and hopefully we can put that together so we can continue you know offering this opportunity in the future as well so congratulations everybody a great job today and this is just uh, it's going to be helpful for us i think to continue the program too that we can show people all these successes so with that, I just I'll think I'll turn it back over to you. Um, Solomon had to uh, leave early, I believe, uh, so he wasn't able to join us. But he, I'd like to thank him as well as our project coordinator. He's done a lot to really help organize this, and he he actually managed the student internship project for uh, our CCC Maker project at the college previously. So it's been great to have him on board as well. Thank you. Thanks, Chuck. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much again for joining us today as the students grow and continue on their journey of entrepreneurship. We're so proud and excited to see them thrive from all of us here at the center. Thank you all for your contributions to making this program a huge success. Um, and we really hope to see you back at the center soon. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night or a great day. Thank, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Great job. Woo! -hoo.